So what is my thoughts about the Emotion V12 High Torque when I own and I ride the Emotion V12 High Speed for basically 3,000 kilometers and why this wheel is my favorite wheel to go to work but even that I continue to prefer the Emotion V12 High Speed. If you want to know everything about it stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Metpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to finally do the full review of the Emotion V12 High Torque. Yes, I had few issues with this one, so second time that I ride I had a flat tire, I had to swap the tire and uh, when I swapped the tire something wrong happened and it was really hard for Emotion or even the distributors to understand what was the problem. It was my fault. I will do that and I will talk about it in another video where we are going to talk a little bit more about the motherboards and the evolution of Emotion until reaching the Emotion V13 and why I think that the Emotion V13 is just an evolution since the V8F or the V8. But today we are going to cover the Emotion V12 High Torque that I have to say to you guys that is a mix of sensations. I really like it, but I continue to prefer my old one. So as you guys are aware, obviously with the V12 high speed, the rim was not the best, is not really reinforced. If you want to do some jumps, they have done some improvements in here. The tire is completely different. Obviously this one is completely gone. I need to swap it really, really soon. But just changing the tire changed completely the experience that you can have with an electric unicycle. And when I started riding with the Emotion V12 high speed, I didn't like it in the beginning because I was riding with bigger wheels in that time. I believe I was with the EX and the EXN. So basically I was used to a completely different experience. And after a while, when I start to ride for a little bit longer, I definitely start to love the V12 high speed becoming up to today, my favorite wheel. And obviously I know this is a full review of the V12 high torque, but it's impossible for me to talk about this wheel without comparing to the older brother. And that was one of the complaints, having a better rim. Obviously we also know that the V12 high speed had a lot of issues with the motherboard. I have to say to you guys, I have a new motherboard at home, but until today I never swap it because the way that I ride, I don't really brake hard on the back. I kick the wheel to the side. That's why one of the sides of my tires is completely gone. And for that same reason, I don't feel that I really need to swap my motherboard because I never really had any issues with this one. And like I said, I have already 3000 kilometers on the V12 high speed. On the V12 high torque was a completely different thing. Like I said to you guys, I had a flat tire, so I had to completely disassemble and I've done a mistake. So for that reason, they thought it was the motherboard after it was not the motherboard. And after we found what was the problem, but we'll talk about that later on. But this will start giving me th some things that I didn't have with the V12 high speed. And when you jump from one wheel to the other, even if you put exactly the same settings and if you don't have seen the best settings for the Emotion V12, definitely check that video that I've done. It's impossible to compare. They, they feel completely, completely different. This wheel brings something that the V12 didn't give it to me. It is comfort. So this one, because you have a slight movement, it's like almost like having a pedal dipping, but it's really not a pedal dipping, but you feel it when you are going to ride very, very slowly with this one. When you go super fast, that sensation is basically gone. But that slightly movement brings a bit of comfort on the V12 high torque that I didn't get it on the V12 high speed. I also ride completely different one and the other. Even if the settings are exactly the same, this one I put a minus two, so my pedals are just lifting a bit on the front, so it's more aggressive and that's the way that I, I simply love it to ride with this one. This one obviously because the pads are completely different and also we will do a full review of these pads and by the way, thank you so much UC Market to send me these ones and to be so, so patient for the full review of these pads and because of that and because I like to ride seated, I know if you follow me for a while, you know that I always hated the idea to ride seated, but on this wheel with this seat, it makes a completely different experience and we'll talk that in another video. Yeah, rim was one of the first reasons why you wanted to purchase the high torque. If you don't do any jumps like me, I never had any issues with the V12 high speed. Obviously the upgraded motherboard 
the motherboard and I have here one completely completely new the motherboards on, on these things are already a bit like what we see on the Emotion V13 that you have stacks and everything is quite well organized and they try to avoid that you can touch with one of the phases of your motor on your motherboard and we'll talk why that is so so important but this motherboard is so much bigger than the motherboard for example that you'll find on the uh, V11 but the MOSFETs are completely different between the MOSFETs of the V12 high torque and the MOSFETs of the V12 high speed and when we talk about power I, I have to say on the first moment you, you definitely feel that you have a bit more power with the V12 high torque but if you come back to the V12 high speed yes you feel it in the first minutes but after you completely forget and uh, one of the things that make me love so much this wheel is the maneuverability that obviously when I jump to the V12 high torque I don't have it because of the type of tire but this type of tire brings me something that I want a little bit more comfort not just because obviously the, the wheel have a bit of pedal dipping in low speeds but also because I want to ride seated and for that same reason I like a lot that I have a little bit more stability so if you want more stability definitely this configuration is going to give you that but if you want something super aggressive to fight between cars if you want definitely this configuration the original one is so so much better another thing that I never really understood is uh, the handle and this handle was so good you see you don't have basically any movement it doesn't go anywhere but this one have a lot of movement so they changed the screws to be on the top and these screws are on the bottom so they they change from the first generations they change the handle slightly I think just to be easier to reach these screws that made the handle a bit worse and uh, yeah you can think that is because I put the seat but it's been like this since it came out of the box so definitely also something that I didn't like it so so much but this wheel is really really funny if you really don't want to go above 37.5 miles per hour if you want a bit more speed definitely go to the v12 high speed another thing that makes me always obviously choose the v12 as my favorite wheel is for example simple simple things one of them is having the clock on my screen because in that way if i have to go somewhere in opposite that I have to try to look to my watch I can look straight away on my screen so definitely a plus plus. and besides that I have to say to you guys that I simply love it the sound waves so if I have to jump to one of my other wheels and here I have other two definitely that's something that I'm a bit disappointed because obviously I don't have the sound wave so in the morning I have to go to work I have all the kids going to school and I don't want to be constantly screaming on your right, on your left, whatever. So for that same reasons also, that's one of the reasons that I like so much these wheels. The speakers, they continue to be exactly the same. So not a lot of bass, but great sound quality that you have there. Obviously that's a massive benefit if you are jumping from a V11 and jumping for a V12. This wheel, we don't have a lot to talk about it there is not a lot of new things that you'll find here obviously the screen is slightly different than this, this one they changed the colors on it and for example looking to the time is easier on the old version than this one but overall it's a very very similar wheel obviously if i change the tire for something similar to the v12 they will get more similar to each other's but I didn't find that is really necessary that extra power that you have on the motor because you pass from a 2500 to a 2800 watts I didn't find that's really a reason for me to or upgrade from my v12 high speed or jumping to a v12 high torque like I said both of them they are amazing this one's what it gives me more is like I said more comfort but that sensation of a bit of pedal dipping if you go slowly it's a bit annoying at least for my taste maybe with an update they will be able to sort it out but at this point at the moment that I'm reviewing I continue to prefer my V12 high speed because I like the way that he rides on the road I like how fast it goes because I can go easily at 42 44 miles per hour with that wheel and for that same reason I have to give the thumbs up for the V12 high speed like I said to go to work I like to wake up early go with time smoke my cigarettes on my wheel and yeah I can go slowly sitting just enjoying the view being comfortable and obviously these pads they give you that this seat gives you that and also if you are searching for a wheel to ride sitting with this seat is 
is amazing. Like the, the size of the wheel is perfect for me. Even there is no pressure around the, the legs, it doesn't hurt me. It's very easy to sit and, and stand up when I'm riding with it. So for that same reason also, I really like the configuration that I have here. And thank you so much EUC Markets to make them in orange. I know they was not available in this color and you made it because I asked, so definitely a plus. Like I said, not a lot to say because I have already done like my pre-review of this wheel and after 500 kilometers, I simply love it. But obviously, since I have the experience with the V12 high speed, I, I have to say that definitely, if you are between buying one of the two, I will definitely go for this one. If you are searching for something with a little bit more power, obviously if you go off-road, if you want something that is more stable, out of the box, because obviously if I change and I put this tire there, I'll have a wheel that is more stable. But out of the box is an amazing wheel with these small things that they are a bit annoying. Obviously when I talk about the pedal dipping is not when you are curving, it's just when you accelerate, you feel the pedals, they drop a bit and they come back. Okay, but when we are curving, they stay stable, completely stable. So you are not going to feel that they are dipping inside like it happens with the big odd wheels that when you go and you do like a massive curve or with the veteran Shermans, for example, you will not have that sensation with this wheel. It's literally, they are constantly doing slightly this when you go in low speeds, when you go high speeds, you don't feel it anymore. Obviously, high speeds up to 37.5 miles per hour. And yeah, this is my review of the Emotion V12 High Torque. Obviously also a bit of comparison with the V12 High Speed. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. My name is Marco, this is Medpack. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.